I'm back already. Um, I want to talk to you right now about basically the two Americas of the 1960s. Uh, I know I keep saying, you know, there's this great misconception and that great misconception, but a lot of times history is a series of misconceptions. People think there was a way that things happened that may not have actually been the way that it truly happened. And one thing that we've done with the 1960s is we just promote this belief that by 1970, everybody was a hippie, everybody was against the Vietnam War, everybody hated Richard Nixon, but that's simply not true. I mean, you got to look for one thing. By 1972, Nixon has a massive re-election victory. But when we look at the history of this time period, often we look backwards through Watergate, uh, through what we know through the Pentagon Papers about the Vietnam War, and we look at history that way. But in 1969, not everybody was a hippie. As a matter of fact, a majority of people weren't. But what I want to focus on in this very short lecture, hopefully this was a little shorter than the last one, is the fact that there were two Americas at this time period. What do I mean by that? Obviously, there was not an attempt to make two countries like during the Civil War, but there was a big divide in the United States of America. And that divide was not just between liberal and conservative. It was also between different generations, uh, the generation of those that had fought in World War II, uh, between the generation of those that were born after. Uh, there was a massive divide, and that divide is perfectly represented by two songs, in my opinion, two songs. If you get a chance, go on YouTube, and uh, it's killing me that we're not able to do this in the classroom right now because I do this every year. But go to YouTube and look up Country Joe and the Fish and their performance at Woodstock. And there's a song commonly referred to as the Vietnam War song. And after you watch that song and look at the way people looked at Woodstock, I want you to look up on YouTube Merle Haggard's Fightin' Side of Me, which most Pike Countyans probably know. But I want you to watch Merle Haggard's Fighting Side of Me, look at the people in the crowd, listen to the lyrics, and compare and contrast. Because at Woodstock, 400,000 people of the counterculture, the hippies, the people that protested the Vietnam War, came together to unite their voices to uh, spread the counterculture and to stop the Vietnam War. Well, obviously the majority of these people are young. Obviously the majority of these people were experimenting with drugs that were illegal at the time period. Obviously the majority of these people's music sounded very different from their parents' music. And there's one performance Country Joe and the Fish, in the song Vietnam Song, it's as commonly referred to, it starts out and it says, come on now, all you big strong man, Uncle Sam's, uh, you know, uh, needs your help again, he's got himself in a big old jam, uh, way yonder in Vietnam, or something like that. Uh, but the song says in the chorus, what are we fighting for? You know, it says, it's, a, it's an anti-war song. There's one line in the song that says to parents that you can you know, be proud because you can be the first on your block to have your son come home in a box. Now, the whole crowd at Woodstock stands up, all 400,000 of them, they're cheering, they're singing along, and they look very differently from what you see in the other video I mentioned, the Merle Haggard Fighting Side of Me video. Uh, it's either from the Porter Wagner show or the Grand Old Opry or one of those uh, great 1960s televised uh, country music shows. But the Merle Haggard fighting side of me represents what Richard Nixon called the silent majority. The majority of Americans who supported the Vietnam War who were not hippies. And that song says, as a lot of you already know, says, you know, I heard about some squirrely guy who says that he just don't believe in fighting. And I wonder just how long the rest of us can count on being free. But in the chorus, it says, you're walking on the fighting side of me. Running down a way of life our fighting men have fought and died to keep. If you don't love it, leave it and let this song that I'm singing be a warning. When you're running down my country, man, you're walking on the fighting side of me. So at the end of the 1960s, there are two very distinctly different United States of America. There are those who are still you know, supporting the government, those who are still supporting the Vietnam War. However, the support for the Vietnam War is dwindling. And then there are those who are demanding a change. So this is arguably 
and you can remove the arguably for that matter, the most divisive time period our country has faced or had faced since the end of the Civil War. But there's other things going on in 1969 that can unite the country that we will talk briefly about in the next video.